Hey guys, this is Craig Migliaccio with AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is how to use a manual swaging tool in order to swage copper tubing. So this is a, what a swage looks like on copper tubing. It's what you're doing is you're expanding the tube, and, and a tube expander like this or manual swager can work with either copper or aluminum, uh, basically soft metals. But we use this for connecting air conditioning and refrigeration lines from the indoor unit to the outdoor unit. And what we're trying to avoid is we're avoiding two joints. So we only have to braze or silver solder one joint with a tool like this. The other positive thing about a tool like this is that you don't have to run to the supply house in order to finish the job if you don't happen to have the coupling that you need in the truck or the maybe the 90 or something like that because you can bend 90s with the soft copper and you can swage them. So in this video we're going to show you how to swage 7 8 OD copper tubing and half inch OD copper tubing. So OD, these are air conditioning refrigeration sizes, and OD means outside diameter. So from outside to outside, this is 7 eighths. Outside to outside, this is half inch. These tubes were already cut with our tubing cutter, and now we're just gonna go ahead and ream the copper tubing with either a stick reamer like this, a unibit in the drill, or a round reamer such as this. And so you know, the tools in this video are linked down in the description section below. So let's go ahead and we'll pick our stick reamer for this and we'll start with half inch OD copper tubing. So you just rotate just like this and it's gonna take that edge off the inside, that sharp edge, and it's gonna stop any shards uh, from breaking loose in the future and going down inside the line. The other thing is when you're reaming it, you wanna make sure it's not like this and having the little shards of copper fall in the pipe because that would end up damaging the compressor or other components in the system. So we just wanna make sure that they end up falling out of the system. Now we'll select our die, so this one's a half inch. You see that this rotates right here, and in the back, this is where this little cone goes, and it expands these in the front. So in order to do that, you have to open this up all the way, just like this. Then what you do is you just put this cone in, and then you just screw it forward. And there you have it. And what's gonna happen is, as you turn this, it's going to expand that front portion right there. So we're going to leave this tool just like this, and we'll add our copper tube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this in, and about halfway through the job, I'm going to uh, basically turn this copper tube. So I'll loosen this up just a little bit, and I'm going to turn it. And what I'm doing is I'm making sure that this little open space right here doesn't stay in the same spot the entire time while I'm pressing this in. So that's it. So you just press it all the way in. It's a very fast process. I'm just doing it very slow just to show you. And you don't really have to apply much force in order to accomplish it. So right here is our swage. So I just wanted you to take a look at that and inspect that. And when we go ahead and put our copper tube in, it shouldn't be very hard in order to put this in, but at the same time, it shouldn't be sloppy. So as you can see, there is no slop in this at all. So it's a nice tight swage all the way around. And that's good for when we're silver soldering or brazing in order to have um, a nice connection right in the inside of here. Now we're gonna get ready for our 7 8 copper tube. So we're just gonna go ahead and unscrew this one off. For this one, we'll go ahead and use our drill and unibit in order to ream our copper tubing. So right there, we just took the edge off and we'll go ahead and slip it inside. So you know, if you can't get it inside right away, there's this lip right here and you can expand this lip right here in order to, to get your copper tube a little bit expanded in the front in order to get it in. But in this case, we have this reamed enough and we're just gonna go ahead and put it in. Same procedure, we're just going to go ahead and go about halfway. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn this. So there we go. So if you see that right there, it's a decent swage. Now we're gonna go ahead and open our tool up. 
Now I'll go ahead and inspect how tight this is. So it's snug. You see that there's there's no flopping around inside. If you can see that. So that makes a good swage in order to do your brazing and silver soldering. So you know for sizes that are 3 8 5 16 quarter inch, I typically use a swage block with a swager such as this or with hammer swages. What it does is it just leaves a very nice swage all the way around for those smaller tubes. If you're looking for any of the tools used in this video, I have them linked down in the description section below. If you want to help support this HVACR training channel, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. And if you want to see another HVACR training video, click right here. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.